This is Law Talk. I'm Matt Hamilton. Welcome, Kansas City Municipal Court. Today, we're telling you everything you need to know to get into and get out of Kansas City Municipal Court. This is a court that's right downtown. It is right next to City Hall. Here is the address. A lot of people get nervous driving downtown because of all the one-way streets uh, and the difficulties with it. So uh, plan ahead, uh, give yourself some extra time because it can be confusing. Parking is a significant issue around Kansas City Municipal Court. Now that courthouse is surrounded by open parking lots all over the place. There is a three or four story uh, parking space right across the street from it. And then there are also open parking spots all over the place. There are several issues with parking though. They are all paid parking. So on the streets, you're gonna have quarters and remember to put them into the machines and you can parallel park on the street. Expect to be walking one to three blocks to get there, okay? Definitely put the parking in the machines because the Kansas City Municipal Police Department constantly, uh, you know, supervise that and you'll get a ticket, you don't want to have to pay it. Uh, they pay parking lots themselves, uh, have you physically stuff money in. Uh, also, uh, that's gonna be costing you a few bucks you're just gonna to have to ante up on that and walk into court. Plan ahead. Leave your cell phone, any knives, any guns. Don't be taking any of that into court. There's a security checkpoint. As soon as you get into the building, uh, they will make you go back to your car and leave that stuff in. You're not gonna be able to take electronics or anything metal into court. That is unless you're an attorney or court personnel. When you get to court, your court is not going to be on the first floor. On the first floor is the clerks where you pay. And when you do that after court, you're going to want to call in and you, there's a kiosk. It's a little uh, display area right in front of the door. You're going to want to get a number in which case they will call your number for payment or for final processing. So remember to look for that display when you very first go into the clerk's office on the first hand floor once your case is done. If you do, don't do that, and you don't sign in electronically, they'll never get to your case. So go ahead and do that. If you have problems, ask because everyone will be doing it. Your courtroom is going to be on the second or third story of that building. And it's going to be labeled with a letter, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, court. You're going to have a letter, and that, that letter may change depending upon how many different court times you've gone there. There are going to be television displays on the wall on the second, third story of that building. And there is one on the first floor. It's just hard to see. And it's going to have your name on it. Arrive early, look for your name, and make sure that you're there at the right day, the right time, and in the right courtroom. You don't want to anger the judge by going to the wrong courtroom and they don't think that you showed up and issue a warrant for your arrest or get angry with you. Don't do that. Plan ahead. Kansas City Municipal Court can be confusing. Uh, the court has certain limitations on it. Um, it can only issue a fine plus court costs combined of up to $225 per charge. Now remember, if you're charged with two things, that can add up to $450. Uh, they do expect, while they do do time to pay, the court's going to expect for you to be able to pay on the day of court. So plan ahead, budget ahead, so that you've got enough time to take care of what you need to. Kansas City Municipal Court is different than other courts in another way, in a way that's important to you. It has its own jail, and they do frequently sentence people to jail in Kansas City Municipal Court. So be aware of that. Now, because they frequently seek jail time, there are public defenders that regularly operate through there. But in order to do that, you have to have a case where they're seeking jail time and you have to prove yourself indigent. My advice is to hire a private attorney, one that you have to pay for. Uh, you'll get more personalized service, uh, more attention, and a better strategy uh, if you hire your own attorney. I think that goes without saying. Dress appropriately for Kansas City Municipal Court. Remember, our theme is don't look like a guilty person. The mistakes I see that are common are, for example, men with labor jobs and you want to show off that you have a job or you don't want to change for everybody so you're just showing up in your work clothes. 
do not show up for court all dry, grimy and dirty and muddy. That's not going to show respect to the judge, and the judge is not going to show you the lenience that he or she or otherwise would have. Uh, young people do not wear pajamas to court. It's too often that I see people wearing things to court that you can go to bed in. Yes, it may be comfortable. Yes, you may love it, but do not do that. That's not effective. Show a little respect. Act like you're going to church. Ladies, do not dress promiscuously for court. That is not going to impress the judge. The judge is not going to be more likely to side with you if you're showing some extra skin. Don't do it. Show some respect. Throw an extra shirt in the car and put that on, guys, and you'll, you'll have a better result. Okay? No political statements. Uh, no written statements on your clothing. There's no reason to offend somebody that has your freedom in their hand. All right? <clears throat> Probation is common in Kansas City Municipal Court for certain types of charges. They have supervised probation there, and they have unsupervised probation there. They sometimes can give you classes, like a shoplifting class, an alcohol drug education class. Alive at 25 is a very common class. If you are young, if you're a teenager, um, it is entirely expected, if you have a traffic offense, that you're gonna have to take the Alive at 25 program before your attorney can handle your case entirely. So plan ahead, don't procrastinate and get a bunch of continuances because getting into a live at 25 and completing it should take between four and six weeks because that class fills up and you have to wait. So plan ahead for that and budget ahead. Um, once your probation period is done, it should be completely off of your record. Remember, it's important to avoid convictions. Uh, not only because insurance will raise your rates and you'll have to pay more in the long term, but also uh, having a clean record is an important asset in the modern age. Uh, phone calls uh, into court for continuances, I think you should abandon that idea. Uh, the clerk's office is really super busy. They do not grant continuances over the phone. Um, however, there's an important difference that has happened in Kansas City Municipal Court. Hire your own private lawyer. That entire court has gone completely electronic. Even lawyers like myself, all the way out in Pleasant Hill, we can handle cases sometimes that very day in Kansas City Municipal Court and resolve it and keep it permanently off of your record um, simply through the electronic filing. That's a very efficient process and in many cases it can be handled quickly. So um, that's a big advantage. You need to take advantage of it. Uh, there are many, many attorneys that practice there. Uh, the rates are pretty much standardized. You're not gonna get a big difference in attorney's fees uh, for different attorneys in Kansas City Municipal Court. Uh, the really difference is the quality of the attorney and also the amount of experience that that attorney has to know what to do in that court because there are unusual strategies that attorneys have to employ to get the best result for their client. So shop around for that. Choose somebody that you feel comfortable with. I'm Matt Hamilton. That's Kansas City Municipal Court. Thank you for joining me.